Okay, we're back here at Castlewood Canyon State Park and uh, gonna try to do the rim loop, which is gonna take us up there. And it's about a four mile loop. And uh, let's see what that's about. Came in and attempted this the other day, but storms blew up and uh, had to get out of here in a bit of a hurry. So I'm gonna try it again. It'll be fun. Old homestead. There's lots of remnants around in here from the homestead. I forget what they said they bought this property for, but it was cheap back in the day. But, uh, yeah, lots of grass up on the trail. I'd like to see them push some of that back. But it is what it is. I think it's going to be a fun hike. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so they got these little posts with signs and turns. You have to watch them. Some of them aren't going where you think you're going. I guess maybe they're markers for structures. Which makes sense, I guess, on the map. There's, if I would have looked at it. So this is probably structure number four. So don't follow them as trail markers. <laughs> Lots of cactus around. This canyon is located we're about 20 something miles east of the front range. So this is kind of the area that's just kind of, I guess, pushed up and lumpy and off from when the Rockies were formed. Here we go. Make our way up to the rim. That's gonna be fun, man. Look up there. <laughs> All the way around. Follow this little side track here because you can hear the water running. Oh yeah, you can see it in there. Pretty cool. We'll probably wind up crossing this at some point. Yeah, you kind of can hear it. It's 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 strange because it's so dry out here in these washes, and suddenly you hear that. <laughs> it's kind of odd. A little peek at the water once in a while here. Apparently, so that's kind of nice. And I hear the footbridge. The weeds are grown, encroaching. There we go. A little bit murky. There's fish in there. Nice. Well, we descended from the parking lot there. Down into this wash. Now we're making our way up. Gotta get up to the top of the canyon. Some kind of little animal in there. Raising sand. Can't see him though. Moving up. See the parking lot over behind me here. We work our way up. So this is the mouth of the canyon looking out. You can see people hiking down there. So you got a pretty good view right here. As the canyon moves further up. There's a little checkpoint where you come through. Over there's Silver Park and waiting. We still got to go up, get up here on the rim, and make our way around. Real interesting the way those almost look like growths, just pieces of rock jutting out. 
kind of cool. Still making our way up. Kind of forks. That just goes right over there to a little sort of a lookout point. The trail goes here, apparently to the left. So we continue up. It's nice though. All these outcrop rocks and stuff. This makes for very interesting scenery. Twin through these pines sounded like a highway. Love the sound. It's just awesome. Little anchor for the power line. It makes its way off this canyon rim and just heads down. Pines are still singing. Welcome breeze. It's been pretty breezy. Air's been moving pretty good most of this hike, which is nice. Little big pines up here. I'm not sure what these are. I don't think it's exactly a pine. It's kind of spruce maybe. That's definitely a pine, but uh, boy, the wind is blowing. This really reminds you of Grandfather Mountain. No ladders, but lots of rock and some folks. Winds up kind of exposed. I don't know what the trail proper is. I'm gonna go over here because I think it might take me to the rim. Here we are. Awesome. See all the way to the front range and to the big mountains behind them. Jumped up on this other rock here. It's beautiful. See the car down there. We're going to work our way over deeper into the canyon and then come out on the lower loop. It's just awesome. Back on trail proper. I'm sure it's probably going to give us a view too, judging by this rock outcropping on the right here, yeah. More canyon views. We have walked over there first. Awesome views. You ride out onto this tabletop. You have to be really careful because there's nothing to stop you from just falling down to the ledge below. Probably break a bone at the very least. It's real exposed up here too. I didn't bring my shade and I should have. That was a mistake. You look up here and you think, oh, there's, there's a number of trees up there. And there are, but get up here and they're spread out. Up here on top of this canyon, it's kind of a plateau. Got homes up here in the distance. It's like a ranch actually. We're moving away across this top of this ridge here. You can see out across the canyon. Houses up there. This houses up here too. Cairn there. So you not only got to watch out for the wildlife, you got to watch out for those cairns. They say they're dangerous. I ain't never even seen one move. <laughs> they say they're dangerous. Those flowers really stand out when you see them because they're an almost uh, unnatural kind of color. They just, they just really, really stand out. You see them for several yards for you to get to them. Been seeing them on the hike at Carpenter Peak and here. 
breezy here, but this was a nice looking little outcrop. You can see that tree growing up. Really cool. The breeze feels really good, so I'm not gonna apologize too much for it. Get views of the south end of the canyon as it basically just opens up into a little valley. Drops out of that, of course. We got a little ways to go yet before we start our descent. A lonely pine tree. We're about halfway across the top of this rim. We took a little break back there under a nice breezy tree. It's nice. And then on the other end of the canyon, you can see some kind of a man-made structure there. It's too flat, and it looks like those bricks are stacked too perfectly to be natural. Be interesting. Maybe we'll get to see when we get over there. It's hot up here. Been a good breeze for most of the time, but it stops on occasion. Got another cairn here. Hang hey, every little slide. Hopefully you don't hurt nobody. Nice cairn. Ain't, ain't nobody bothering you. Seasonal closure area due to species. Probably these little pines. Who knows? That tree there was all twisted up. Wow. You can hear people talking down there. You can see a trail over here working around. We'll be down there at some point. It's beautiful up here. I believe, I don't know if that's going to come out or not, but I believe that to be Pikes Peak straight ahead. The trail can get a little hard to follow in here, but I believe it comes this way. Sorry about the breeze. Right, Karen, we got to be careful of that. Easy, easy. You know, actually, it's kind of a weird place for it because the trail looks pretty good here. It needed to be about 50 yards back when the trail split in our... Well, it's going across the rocks, but it looks like it's splitting because people have beaten out little paths to get to the uh, outcroppings where they can look. It's easy to mistake that for trail. There's a pool here. There's no doubt this pine's making good use of. Starting to turn a little bit here. This is another spot. Where are we going to go? I'm gonna... Not really sure. See footprints over here. Let's see. This is the trail. Just kind of meander all around over here. Maybe this is it. Really watch this is where Karen's would come in handy. Well, there it is. That's why we've been seeing Karen's up here. That's the mama Karen. Got a little youngin in front of her right there. I'm staying backing up real slow because yeah, Mama Karen's probably pretty protective of them youngins. She needs to call them other ones back over here is what she needs to do. Another Karen. Your mama's gonna be looking for you. Yeah, she ain't the boss of me. I can be on my own. Yeah, that can't gonna live out here for a while to whatever they eat runs out and then he's gonna go run back to mom or not so much running, but 
Guess he'll have to wait for the earth to rumble a little bit. But I mean, he wants to need his back, so I'm saying. Well, pull out the map and see if that's our way down. That is the way down. So here we go. A little zigzag here. Given that that sign said dam trail, clearly that's a dam. That explains it. It almost looks ancient, doesn't it? Somebody spent a lot of time putting it together, though. You can only imagine. We're making our way down. Got these steps to traverse. Letting that grow back up. I can hear people down the bottom of the canyon. So, plenty of folks I haven't seen anybody in a few hundred yards. One of those little trumpets. I don't know what they're called. They're pretty. It's like the dam came across right here, maybe. I was talking to a couple. Clearly he was Canadian. I didn't ask him where from, but she asked me if I was from the South. I said, well, how did you tell? She said, that thick accent. <laughs> I told him I was from Georgia. We're down off the rim. Uh, obviously we're a little higher up here than down at the other end of the canyon. Uh, yeah, they clearly they had this dammed up at some point. Yeah, so go down here to this fork and tag it. <laughs> clearly we need clearly we need to go off to the right, but we're gonna go over here. This is just a little triangle just to look at this sign here. So you have a nice sign to show you that that's the way we're gonna go. There it is, Creek Bottom Trail. So we're going to take that back, I presume. So that's the way the track is showing us. You can hear the water from here, but 10 feet behind me, you could not hear it. Make our way down to the creek. You can see a little footbridge down there we're going to cross. This track takes us here to the right. Right through these bushes. A little bit muddy right through here. And really grow it over. Overgrown. I'm trying to pick my way around this mud. Yeah, you can see the stone and dirt wall there. Making our way. Got some folks behind me. Kind of cool. In the water. Run over. Looking its way down. Kind of cool. If it was raining, you'd have a place to get up and get out of it. Still making our way along the bottom of the canyon here. Nice tall trees down here. Awesome. Just up the hillside, but still, it's really cool. Trail opened up real wide here. Obviously, they brought gravel in on this section. The canyons open up too. I'll take this side trail. Sounds like there might be some rapids over there. Some people taking pictures. Yeah, you know, see what's over here. Water going down, getting around to that other side's not not easy. I was already over here once, it would mean rock hopping across a bunch of stones, which I don't really want to do. Maybe we'll get another view down the trail. You can hear the water though. Yeah, I didn't really want to risk bouncing through those rocks. I'd have to take my pack off probably to be safe. 
you know, water makes its way down. Some people sitting in there getting cool. Can't blame them, it's plenty warm. Yeah, it's got to drop a good bit to get down through here. Beautiful. Okay, that looks like a butt. Awesome view. Come out here and skirt the road. We we'll make our way back. Pretty neat. According to our track, we stay to the right. Well, this looks like it's going to be a drop. Woo, it is. No, thank you. Quite a breeze coming over there, too. I like to look at these pines here. Canyon drops off. It's beautiful. Got another right hand turn here. Trailhead up that way. We have to keep along the canyon. We get down to the end where we're parked. Nice up here on this on the side slope because trees are up here. It's just really nice. We're starting to drop here, which we know we're gonna have to drop down into the canyon. Wind's picking up, so you may not hear me. I tried to keep the mics away from the wind. But yeah, going down a little bit. We know we gotta get down into the, the bottom of the far end of the canyon. Because that's where the trail that we split off of started, so got to get down there. But yeah, it's been a good hike. Still got a little ways to go yet. Well, there's the climb up in there somewhere. We haven't got to the split yet, but it's down in here at some point. Almost there. There's our split. So we've come full circle. Work our way back to the truck. We're back at the homestead. Which means we're back at the car. Almost. Almost. It's old silver waiting patiently. Castlewood Canyon Rim Loop. Done. It's a really good hike. Can't recommend it enough if you're in the Denver area. Drive down here. It's just it's great views. Great hike. Yeah. Hammer some vittles.